Today I'm going to give you essential information in order to harvest a limit of steamer clams. Hi, I'm Tom and there are four things you need to know in order to harvest a limit of steamer clams. Those are the gear required, the rules and regulations, where to find them, and last, you'll need to know the tips and techniques in order to dig them up. All right, let's talk about the gear you need to have. First, you must have a valid shellfish license. Second, you're gonna to need to have yourself a shellfish gauge. So there's a couple different types of gauges you can get. There's this type, a ring type. There are some that are on crab gauges. Either way, you want this hole to be one and a half inches in diameter. Next, you're gonna to need to have a container to put your clams in. That could be something as simple as a cutout milk jug or a small bucket. Last, you're gonna need the tools to dig them up. That could either be a shovel, a rake, or these things, which I like to use, these hand rakes, also known as garden cultivators. You can pick them up at your local hardware store for just a couple of dollars. All right, let's talk about the rules and regulations. First, you're only allowed to harvest 40 clams per person. Second, each person's got to put their clams in their own container. You can't share containers, you can't put them all together, so it's one container per person. I already talked about this when I talked about the gauge, but the clams have to be one and a half inches across at the widest point. Next, you're gonna to have to refill any holes that you dig, you're gonna to have to refill them. So be, be aware of that. And if you happen to come across the small clams uh, and any that didn't meet the size requirements, make sure to bury those back up before you move on. All right, let's talk about where to find the clams. The clams I'm after today are manila and little neck clams, native little neck clams. Those are found in the mid to high intertidal zones. So that's where I'm gonna be digging today. The clams are also two to six inches deep. So you wanna make sure as you're digging, if you, you don't really need to go beyond that, and you'll see here in a second as I start digging, they're really only maybe an inch or two underneath the surface. Next, you're gonna look for the proper substrate that they live in. They live in mud, sand, or gravel. Typically though, I like to find them in kind of a sand and gravel mix, and that's what I'm after today. All right, so as I'm digging, I like to dig from low to high, and that way as I'm moving up, I'm filling in the hole as I go. So I'm just gonna take my hand rake and I'm just gonna rake a little as I go, looking for clams. Look, there's one right here. Look, there's another one, another one. And you can see it's not hard to find them. So we're just moving as we go. I'm gonna do one straight line. And then I'm gonna go just above that and now that I'm digging above it, I'm again looking for clams. And there's quite a few that are being dug up, but they look a little small. So I'm just gonna keep moving up as I go, looking for those, I'm gonna keep looking for the larger size clams. All right, there's another one. All right, so now I've got about four clams in my hand. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna measure these using the clam gauge. So I've got myself the clam gauge. This is just one particular company, but I'm gonna measure it at the widest point. And as long as that clam does not go through, that is a legal clam. So there's one, I'm gonna put it in my bucket. All right, here's a little bit bigger one. I, can, I already can tell you that's big enough. Bigger one, there's two. Three, four. Well, there's number four. All right, so now I'm gonna show you a clam that does not fit the size requirement. So you see this clam, and I could just tell it's way too small. But if it does not, if it falls straight through, no matter how I shake it, or no, no matter how I turn it, if it goes straight through, this one is undersized. And so this clam is no good, and is all I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna take it, and I'm just gonna simply bury it back up all right, so I raked up the area real quick and now I'm just gonna start grabbing the clams and putting them into my bucket. So there's one there, legal, legal. That's a, that's a good one. So that one's too small, so he'll get reburied. Here's a clam. There's a nice one. Here's a nice one. So you can see how quickly this is going. And I'll rinse these off and then you'll have a really good idea of what they look like. So again, I'm back 
Just still looking for them. That one's good. There's a good one. Nice one. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna keep digging real quick and then I'm gonna show you what those 40 look like when they're all cleaned up and ready to go. All right, so here it is, 40 steamer clams. Took about five minutes to get. All right, and that's all you need to know in order to be successful when steamer clamming. Hey, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to check out the other content on this channel. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Until next time, take care.